So guys, for the first step, you want to head over to your Steam library and then you want to find Cyberpunk. You want to right click on it and then click on properties and then click on installed files and then click on verify and texture of game files. Now once you do that, you want to click on browse and then you want to find cyberpunk.exe. You want to right click on it and then click on properties and then click on the compatibility tab and then you want to tick disable full screen optimizations and click on OK. Now for the next step, we're going to head over to search and type in graphic settings. Click on it. Now once you're on this under add an app, you want to make sure that desktop app has been selected and then click on browse. Now you want to find where you have cyberpunk installed. So for me, it's on this PC, C drive, scroll down, program files 86, scroll down again, Steam, scroll down, Steam apps, common, and then here's all my games. You want to find cyberpunk. And then you want to find the Cyberpunk EXE file. You want to double click on it, which will then make it appear here. You want to click on Options, and then click on High Performance, and click on Save. Now for the next step, we're going to head over to Search, and type in Display Settings. Click on it. Scroll down. You want to make sure that your display resolution is on the recommended resolution. And now we're going to head over to Search again, and type in Check for Updates. Click on it. Now once you're on this, we're going to click on Check for Updates, and do all the updates that our computer may have. Now for the next step, I'm going to leave two links down below in the description for GeForce Experience or for the AMD software, depending on your graphics card. Now for me, I have an NVIDIA graphics card, so I've got GeForce Experience. Now once you're on this, you want to click on Drivers and then click on Check for Updates. If you have any updates for your graphics card, it will tell you and then you can download it. Once you complete all the steps in the video, you want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.